Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeet and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Pachala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy man. Today's topic we are going to talk about the tumor wherein there is increase in the cell number. So without further ado, let's get started. And welcome back to another 5 in 5 series where we cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes. And today's topic is the central ossifying fibroma. Now as the name suggests, this is another kind of fibroma in which there is an overgrowth. The fibrous growth is now calcified and it is more like a bone type also known as the aggressive ossifying fibroma. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future notifications. So the central ossifying fibroma we are going to cover in the central centra up till these points C E N T R A in order to make it easier for you to remember the main points. So C it is basically what happens in case of a central ossifying fibroma. There is a central lesion which occurs in the mandible. So these central central lesions, when we cut it, we see that they are white yellow mass. Now initially they are fibrous. They are fibromat kind of lesions, so that is why initial lesions are radiolucent. But as the fibroma, it get matured, the extensive lesion, they are converted into calcified mass. So there is a calcification which is seen in the matured lesion and that is why initially inside there are calcification in the fibrous lesion. Later on, these calcification, they turn into big masses. And this calcification later on become the radio opaque. So in the end there is only a line of radiolucency which is discriminate it from the normal bone. So talking about the central ossifying fibroma. So there is a central jaw lesion which is composed of cellular fibrous tissue with the spherical calcification. So in this fibrous lesion there are spherical calcification there are masses of calcification initially they are fibrous later on they get calcified they become hard and it is seen in the children and young adult in the mandible now if we cut this fibroma we see that they are white yellowish mass with a gritty surface now this is more like a granular grainy mud like surface so the cellular fibroblastic stroma the cellular fibroblastic mass which is present it is presence of a delicate collagen fibers which is arranged in a world pattern. So expansion of the cortical plate is seen and there is smooth bowing expansion of the lower border of the mandible and what happens because if this mass is present in between the roots so it is going to displace the teeth and early lesion there is fibrous element of osteotrabacula. Initially lesion we have fibroma. Later on, this fibroma, this radiolucent mass, it becomes more bone-like, it becomes ossified, it becomes calcified. So, as the name suggests, first it is fibroma, then it is ossified. So, the ossified matrix is then calcified. In the radiograph, we see the radio-opaque masses which are present. Initially, these masses are very small radio-opaque masses within the lesion. Later on, when the lesions become extensive, these mass are radio opaque masses within the lesion that almost fill up the whole of the area and leaving only a thin rim of the radiolucent line which separates it from the normal bone. So, this is a non tender, bony, hard swelling in the jaw again because this fibroma is ossified. Fibroma is soft. But ossified when it is calcified, always if anything is calcified, it becomes hard. So it is a non-tender bony heart swelling in the jaw which is a true neoplasm of the bone. Central ossifying fibroma is a rare condition and what happens when it is present between the two roots, it is going to diverge the root and also we will see the root resorption between the two roots and this central ossifying fibroma aka is also known as aggressive ossifying fibroma because sometimes what happens there is a rapid growth of this lesion there is a rapid growth of fibroma there is rapid swelling which is seen the, it is an aggressive lesion which is seen in the central part of the mandible 
so this is about the central ossifying fibroma initially it is fibrous like later on it get calcified there are spherical calcification which get ossified and hence later on extensive lesion have got hard bony like swelling in the jaw so this is about central ossifying fibroma i hope that you have enjoyed the video so if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and there is a link in the description box below to support us on ptm as well as on paper to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then keep reading keep learning stay motivated i will see you soon in the next video